So yes, finally, finally, finally! Oh, of course I'm back with another pretty quick. So of course, we did get a lot of news and a lot of info, of course, for the New York Cobalt Hero stuff. Coming out for both Cobalt and JP again. It's both Cobalt and JP at the same time. Nothing different, nothing crazy, again, like I said, though. Um, again, like I said, very, very simple, very, very easy stuff, like I said. Um, you guys, this video shouldn't take, take, yeah. The video shouldn't take too, too long to go through. We've got a lot of data down here. a lot of new units in here. It's crazy, like, a lot of old Awakenings, a lot of new Awakenings. One that again. This year has been the kind of Awakenings. Some years, like, many new Awakenings from that, a couple of years. Like, I think, like, it was a big kind of time. The Tech one Death Awakening, that was a cool year of Awakenings. We got a couple, actually, this year's like, we got a couple of new units. So, actually, we got a lot of new units and a couple of little Awakenings. This year, we got many just Awakenings. And, and easy as pretty much, though. I know a lot of people are going to be shafted in that, though, but. This is insane. Like, this is insane for like, getting these units. We could have a couple more EGAs in here as well, which is kind of the blue nowhere. Um, Android's home right here. Um, we have Tech, um, Dragon Ball, again, they're from Dragon Ball Fighters. Basically, getting their EGAs, which kind of makes sense, I guess, like, the whole campaign being kind of in November, so. Doesn't make sense. Did it? I think it came out, like, in April, I think? So, 2018? 2017? I can't remember. It was one of those two years. I can't really remember. Um, no, I think it was 2017, 2018, because that's when Dragon Ball Fighters came out, and then, then Dogen had to deal with everything with it. Uh, we got Control Super Coming Out Time. She is an SSR. She's not a TUR, Sally. Um, and Robel, of course, they're both from Nexus. That's SSR. Not, they don't awaken. But, but Patine does awaken. She's from Story Event. Xeno Pants is some boy unit. God Trunks is some boy unit. Um, Dimmy Kim Becky Kabora is um, some boy unit. I don't I don't think these guys are going to come to full call, but it would be kind of cool to get all at the same time. Um, and uh, another surprising unit on here, the old STR Trunks, the Super Saiyan 2 one, that was a meme for a long time, because again, he was like literally a meme for a long time. He finally actually got his awakening on Gold Bull. And JP, because uh, uh, I'm assuming though. Mono's gonna come out for Gold Bull, though, but again, JP already has it. I assume they're gonna do it for Gold Bull, because there's no way they would do it. But his awakening wounds came out of nowhere. Them, him, and these two awakenings just literally came out of nowhere. Like, I don't know where they even came from. It's, it's just insane right now, so. Yeah, again, a lot of awakenings, a lot of new units, stuff like that. I guess it's just crazy right now. This is the day I downloaded, um, again, a video on a short I made of. Um, the good thing about short, though, I could just make them, like, I don't have my computer, I have, like, the computer format. It doesn't really count, but I don't care. It's just the shorts are short, it doesn't really matter to me. Plus, a lot of people do like those. Like, just get quick, easy, simple, fast. Nothing crazy, nothing, you know, whatever. So, yeah, again, just, it's just insane right now, of course. Um, yeah, again, we got these eight units in here. We got Doom of the Patina here, all the awakenings. Yeah, pretty much everything I just kind of covered. Pycon's in here. I'm making sure everything's in here pretty well. Uh, Got Trunks is in here. Yeah, because again, this oak trunk is like OG, like oh, like I still have him. I think I have him like Call of Tubes, I think already. I think I just gotta get. I think I just gotta get up because again, he's been in the game for years already. So having him stuff like that really, really good, really, really worth it in general, though. So yeah, and like I said, though, we do have um, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So they're getting their way getting the GT1 Super Saiyan 3. I, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't really. I, mean, I can kind of tell because this Vegeta's a little bit lighter than this one. Fake sliding from the corner, but you would definitely tell, like, they kind of do look similar a little bit the face and stuff like that, though. So, um, this is GT Vegeta, this is on regular Vegeta. This is weird, they might just kind of came out of nowhere, I guess, just like, yeah, we're gonna just awaken them anyway, though. So, yeah. Um, because then we got the Hero Salvation for Gold, um, JP. We, we did not have it for Gold at the time of this recording, but by the time I upload this, we should have it for Gold I'm gonna make a short on it if I have to, just like really quick and stuff like that. The guy drinks right there looks really good. I think it's from the SA um, animation. I know he has the regular sword in the background, and, like the Keyblade kind of like sword he has, like, and I think Kingdom Hearts. As soon as Keyblade again, like, they're going through time, different like dimensions and stuff like that, of course. Then he goes for kind of here as well, again, both pretty much. So it's all your bonus special missions, again, like, typical stuff. The Demigod art looks really, really new. It seems like it's a story event asset, I can kind of tell. But if that's like a new card, it just comes out of nowhere. That's gonna be insane, because he, this is his um, of course, design, like after it's break out time. Basically, like the whole making the Kabor arc, basically, he wants to get his youth back, and get Piccolo. He's like evil Dragon Ball, he's someone like evil Shimron, he takes control of break out time. She still has like, herself to her time on leash form, like he does. Like he does, like the new like card right here. Um, I think this right here? It was this one. He, like, he uses this form to like basically like, you know, because by then like they already are too late, like he already has like his youth back and everything. Cause like Super Kyle literally, literally sacrifices herself and she tried to see him away. Well unfortunately she fails, not really fails, but just, by then it's already like too late because she already um she's already mind control. She had like two different things though. I'm assuming next year or the year after she awakens. Um it probably won't be that far, I guess she's some more unit, she'll probably can move next year or the year after. Um she'll probably have like she has like a whole different form, not her like time on this one like her. Big mommy milk or one, but I know everybody's gonna meme me about that already though. But um, yeah, um, that one, um, again, don't consider her things like way big, so yeah, they're making they made her 
no, of course, like, huge. Like, I'm not joking, like, literally did, because I was looking back, I was like, yeah, they made them really, really huge. Um, back in, what, 2017, 2018? Um, so yeah, I guess you probably get away to the next year or the year after. She had, like, a cool, like, she had a long hair form. Because he had, like, a long hair form, or a costume, like, inverted, I think. Like, a white, like, red, or kind of, like, inverted, though. She really has Christmas colors, though. So, of course, Sky Trunks. Um, a lot of people went this for a long time. Someone actually did comment, like, oh my gosh, I went this for so long in Donkey. I was like, yeah, me too. I agree. Uh, as well, God Trunks are really long in a way. Uh, a lot of people really want it. Again, next year, like, he was at the Tokyo anniversary. It's going to be probably in the same as well. Again, last year was 10 years. This year, I think the main headline was, I think, the Power Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Xeno, and like, a uh, Blue Gogeta. A lot of people want Super Saiyan 3 Rose. I think next year we're going to get the limit breaker Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because someone did a cool graphic of. Everything we got the last couple years for heroes, specifically Cross and Goku Doken. Like last year we had Super Saiyan Force, this year we have God Trunks. Next year will probably be um we'll be breaking our Super Saiyan for Vegito. I feel like that's gonna be probably an LR, that definitely deserves to be an LR. Cause this year we got um, Easy A's, so a lot of people wanted it last year. A lot of people really wanted Super Saiyan Force last year, we got our first ever Doken Best last year. And of course this year we have um Easy A's, that's new, so next year we'll probably get LR. Um, they don't probably get like, more ETAs and stuff like that for some reason. It's like, probably something about time. It's Super Saiyan 3 Xeno, um, Goku, which he, he's already good. I don't know how they're gonna top that. He's insane. Um, so yeah, again, God Trek is Doku Fest event. A new Silver Stone's coming up for JP. I assume you'll be right in the sales. I don't think it's gonna be free, but I think you can buy, like, past Chuck Wall Heroes units. I thought that was the blue, what, what the blue coins were for, because you can just use a more blue coins for like the wild quest and point easy. Because again, you, who's using blue coins? Like, no one does, uh, except for the tech leaders, which do, don't even come back anymore. I think last time they came back was before last year's town celebration, I believe. Or during the kind of time last year, though, or the year before 2017 when they got the other things. I mean, those managed used to be monthly, then they just like disappeared off the face of each other, which is really, really sad. Because I really, really, really do want to count some of those banners, though. So I even get it like, oh, I have like one, I think it's like AGL, um, Bruto, and that's when, like, Panda got, like, their awakenings back way, like, not awakening, but, like, typical stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I think, mean, like, that's over some seasons, like, it's gonna be, like, you can get, like, a patch art right here, and it's, like, this Goku right here. Um, it's a big half time again. It's probably two of the best units, even the Super Saiyan 3 is the other Goku's work there. It's something you can just, like, all Dark Ball Heroes units with it. I thought they were honestly gonna bring the big, like, the Memorial Stone, because all the Rainbow Tech right here for Dark Ball Heroes, like, I thought it was gonna be cut and pasted on the stone, and I was like, okay. The um, old story event from the last year, from the Dark Ball Heroes event. I actually it is confirmed on even on like the Doken Wiki, Doken Wiki. This is the event last year of course and you can actually see Doken Awaken. Um well, that, um there'll be um you can actually see Doken Awaken again. Um okay, do you have any guys between I'll probably got the God Trunks or I think it looks like card or like strike assets, it look like just both of them. I feel like JP I don't think JP's gonna have like cutting like support memories and stuff like that. I don't think heroes will probably push support memories, even though on Global and JP at the same time they do have support memories. It just goes to the 16th of ninth, so I'm assuming that's when Goldberg get their Christmas campaign and stuff. So yeah, because it's happening on Thanksgiving though. So yeah, tomorrow you can be someone on Dragon Ball Heroes. So you'll visit your family. Like I got Zero Goku. Like please, please forgive me. Like God, Omni King, the monster in heaven. Please. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, Easy Ace for all the heroes units from the um, last couple of years. Getting away, getting. So I assume they're gonna add like all the Easy Ace. Like make sure they add a couple more. Maybe like Super Saiyan Kumpo or a few or whatever. That was super few, and add those. I doubt though, but I feel like those will like it, like, you know, Easy A's next year, maybe. The Super, the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Easy A, so all the characters are going to Easy A, are going to be all this banner. I assume they're going to put them in there. A lot of people do want two banners split up this time around, because there's so many heroes units. And I kind of honestly do get that at the same time, though, because there's so many heroes units. It's about that. It's just insane right now, though, so it really does make sense. But also, on the other hand, I feel like they could put, like, all these Easy A units in this banner properly. And I'm saying in my opinion in general, I feel like they could put, like, all the Easy A units in this banner and probably, like, put, really, like, take them out of the um like for example like we have the Dragon Ball Heroes banner which it was this tab if we like for example I think like Super Saiyan 3 like um Trunks Adult Gohan will probably won't be in here or Team Gohan whatever I probably won't be in here they'll probably be on the ECA banner I'm assuming there will be again I'll make a show on it just in case if like the banner changes or whatever though so yeah uh we got all the heroes you know, um heroes so if it's from last year, we got this Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, um, Zeno Vegeta event, um, and of course there's the Gotenks event, which is coming back because you need that Super Saiyan 3 um, Gotenks medals. Okay, I think it's like the tech one, I think, or like the other ones, I can't remember. He had to do quick and just trunks using those medals, just Gotenks using those medals though, so yeah. Yeah, that's so the only reason why he's back, because he does do quick and Super Saiyan 3, so yeah. Again, like I say, if you want to use SSR and stuff like that, um, you can. I, I like to do that anyway, I like to keep like the SSR T or just because, you know, they're completely different names to play, like all the super new Super Saiyan 3 Awakenings, all the new, um, Pokemon did in general, like Super Fu and regular Fu are actually pretty good together and stuff like that though, so yeah. Um, yeah though, um, yeah, these are the um, events from the last couple of years, like I said, the Cumber event, um, when Cumber came out with Super Fu, and this was one from last year, I believe. 
again, they just have some like 50 awakenings, like 20 plus mineral dose. So, yeah, there's like 50, 10 like awakenings. The surface zone's right here. I don't know what it's gonna be for. I assume it's gonna be for a pass. Talk about hero shoes. I don't even know though. This is a new Super Saiyan 3 GTPG. Yeah, we don't have like the course translation details. I think we do, but some people just can't translate it and stuff like that. Again, the awakening should be coming out really soon. Again, I got so much stuff to do right now. Like, hero, like November. It, it, I know it's crazy, but I didn't realize it would be this crazy this month. I feel like every day. Like, since like last week for me, I've been recording a lot though, so, um, yeah. Uh, we got Super Saiyan 3, um, Super Saiyan 3 regular Vegeta, this is GGVD right here, they're getting the Awakenings. We have Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, the OG one, you can tell, because the Awakening cards are down here. Um, so yeah, he's an OG Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, he's actually getting his Awakening, which is insane. He's like a what if unit, we thought that he was going to do a quick into like the Kakarot, because these guys in Kakarot, these guys actually in Kakarot, like the other story event, so the Super Trunks DLC, like, I've explained how the Super Trunks came to be and stuff like that. They actually have the Super Saiyan 2, um, <coughs> The Super Saiyan 2, um, which I'm calling it, the Super Saiyan 2, can't even think about it right now, um, Super Saiyan 2, um, Trunks, like, without, like, the jacket and stuff like that, then, like, him going Super Saiyan 2 for the first time against, like, Gabor and Bobbity, that honestly could honestly be, like, a unit right there, I feel like that could be a unit, probably the Super Saiyan feature that might, like, that, like, a Super Saiyan with DLC, extended or whatever for all, like, they have, like, a destroy or whatever, or they make, like, a mix, they'll confess Trunks. Obviously, obviously, they did do it with this one just because like, he was like from the future perspective, like, like the first time he came up in the future. And the one's getting her ECA. Um, they transform form, um, they both again, like I said, um, but the new transform, I think they can just also like, see that same though, so it's gonna be really good there. Um, take Android, um, 16's getting his looking as well, and he's probably gonna be a really, really good tank. So it's probably gonna be a little bit more improved though, but he's a, he's probably gonna be like a damage at a tanker though, but um, he really did. He really did do anything as far as like, he might be just like a massive, massive tank. Though that's gonna be really good. Maybe give him a little bit of some offense though, but he's probably gonna be like defense. The Torn one's probably gonna, like main like attack and defense stuff like that. Though. It seems like that's gonna be like that though. Or a little bit to update and stuff like that. They don't change the transformation conditions. So Torn one will still have her transformation transformation condition regardless. Again, the change or whatever in the future. Like ain't gonna oblige a lot of people with that and stuff like that. So. Definitely. Uh, so we got times is her, um, of course, her not bad form, of course. Uh, this is her uh, mind control, like, and she does Doken Wake. I think she, um, she Doken Wake, and she has like a longer hair. I remember the, like one opening scene again, like that, like longer hair. Just her being controlled by Mickey, Mickey Kabor after they're sealed together. So he actually gets enough power to control her and stuff like that. Oh, the card, though. Oh, the swirling card. Oh, look, though. Hair passes. It looks like she does a lot of the It's hard. She might, when she Doken Wake the next year or the year after. Yeah. We see a little bit of scare right there. I see you, Doki. You see you through it into this. But yeah, um, yeah, though, um, again, like I said, um, if her mind control, you have to just dead eyes and stuff like that, though. But yeah, I guess she'll probably Doki Awaken next year. She's, so you know, it's pretty good with fast and stuff like that. You know, I'll probably go over more with this and stuff like that. She likes to translate all the units. Um, that's so good. Uh, Rebel doesn't do a point as well, but yeah, uh, she's Dem a Democrat secretary. A Democrat secretary is Democrat. Democrat, Democrat sec secretary. Um, yeah, she's looking at that, of course. Like I said, my video video, I was like... Dang! Oh, she's looking nice. But yeah, of course. I don't know, I, I did chicks with blue hair. Don't, I, I'm, I'm a blue hair guy. Don't, don't touch me. Don't, 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 don't touch me. 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 blue hair and make a freak. So, including me, though. So, yeah. And, of course, we got, um, you remember, um, you know, guys, Patine, she does Doku Wake and Gara from the story event and stuff like that, of course. Uh, she seems like a pretty solid free play unit. I fought like some kind of time. Again, a lot of Peppy Gala buff probably this year. This is the um, crossover, um, crossover for the Dark Mother Rose. Um, this is the, um, Ender 16, and of course, the one easy that we can just cross over. This is gonna be real easy because it's literally just Dark Mother Rose and I have to cross over unit that's not, uh, you know, a regular unit in Doku anyway. And of course, easy for Dark Mother Rose. So, it's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over. Again, a lot of units, a lot of new stuff is insane right after Gold Boy JP. Again, Gold Boy's probably gonna cool down a lot though. Um, like, see, actually, no, because we still got the easy for Ender 21 and Ender 16, which probably shouldn't take that long. Um, again, I was so easy if you know, like last year, they could do like the tech. I remember last year. Thanksgiving. Bojack got teased during Thanksgiving and literally we got the easy A for um the tech lords, free play tech lord slug and um tech lord slug and it was I remember tech lord slug and I think it was like the STR Cow can go to free play. Um we got those last year. Um it is a lot of new a lot of new stuff for the campaign again, so much stuff, so much craziness again. I have like far of the video for all the stuff so we're just going over everything. It's insane right now, holy crap. I don't even know though, I did put up an eye box on around me in the video though, but I can buy the craziness, a lot of stuff, a lot of craziness. So yeah, thank you guys everyone, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, great luck, great day, you know, you stay safe, watch your God bless all of you for going out, putting my mask on, put it on, ooh, I'm just kidding, of course. So what do you guys think about, what do you guys think about all this info though, of course, like to hate it again, craziness, 
craziness, craziness right now is insane. Like, holy crap. Like, Oh, so many units from Middle and there's just so much stuff I gotta cover and go over. So, I guess I got some stuff for a little bit later. For today, though, but you know, of course, the video, I'll get it up when I can. So, yeah. Just because I know, you know.